Hi, Katie. Thank you for meeting with me today. Hi, thanks for having me. Good. Um, so I just want to start off this conversation by having you introduce yourself, talk a little bit about yourself. Yeah, my name is Katie. I am a former AHC student. I'm out of Ireland. Um, I am a retail manager, a yoga teacher. I wear several hats, as I think we all do a little bit. But yeah, now I am an Ayurvedic health counselor. Yes, and you did also work for Joyful Belly in, um, during your course as the student support uh, person, right? Yeah, I'm part of the student support team. So I was using my experience as a student myself, as we all do on the team to troubleshoot, to help students. And in a bizarre, beautiful circle, it also helped me. Like I was nearly tr like tutoring myself and supporting myself, particularly around like time management and those things that can come up when you're, when you're doing an online course, when you're working, when you have life going on. Yeah, great. Well, we appreciate all of your help um, and also studying and working really hard in the course at the same time and actually, you know, being like one of the top students in the class. So um, congratulations on graduating at the top of the class. Thank you. Yeah, it, I mean, it was my first um, foray back into true academic learning in about... A decade so there was definitely some cobwebs I joined the course a little bit late so there was you know there was some interesting things that came up but yeah. I just loved it I loved every minute of it yeah good I'm glad to hear that um how did you get started in Ayurveda so I came to Ayurveda through yoga as I think a lot of people in the West do. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to study yoga in India and we got to visit a, an Ayurvedic university and we met the students, we got to talk with some of the teachers, we got to see their like medicinal herb gardens. And what pulled me in was just the practicality of Ayurveda. Like, it just kind of lodged in the back of my head. I didn't have any intention of studying it at that time, but it just, it sounded so accessible. Like the teachers were saying, you know, you start with what the person has in their house. Like they work with an ashram with incredibly poor people. And they're like, you didn't need the fancy things. You just, you started with what they had. And to me, that was just amazing because unfortunately not everywhere in the world has such easy and accessible access to to healthcare so that right. was it for me it kind of it was like a little nugget in the back of my head and I did my yoga training and when it was time for more education I, I knew it was going to be Ayurveda yeah yeah great that I mean that's an amazing story that's an amazing kind of way to be introduced to it and um and you know I agree with you it's the practicality of it the kind of common sense um, feeling of learning it. And you're just like, oh, to, like I probably already knew that. Why have I not been doing this? You know, that kind of thing. And, and like you said, the thing about like starting where someone is, like someone can learn from where they are no matter what their station in life. Um, there's always something that you can do to live a more Ayurvedic lifestyle, even if you don't have the money or don't have the resources. So um, yeah, that's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Um, so then what was your kind of vision for signing up for the program? What did you expect or what did you expect to kind of do with your certification or the knowledge? So I didn't have like a concrete idea. I wasn't going in saying, you know what, when I come out, I'm going to start seeing clients a lot of it for me was just furthering my education um and because it is a relative science of yoga it was it was feeding into that but I can say for sure that what I thought I was going to get out of the course and what I actually got out of the course were just two different animals um I 
had no idea of the the rigorous nature of the incredible depth we were going to go to um and just how inspiring the whole course was going to be to be honest um whether it was teachers or other students it opened my eyes for sure and it just paved a route that will work alongside my yoga practice but is not going to be like interwoven with it it's going to be its own standalone thing um so when I when I first went into the course I thought this would be like a nice little online course a little bit more knowledge you know um (laughs) but I got so much more out of it and I'm so grateful for it now looking back that I that I took the plunge yeah yeah I agree like there's there's a certain element of like oh yeah I'm excited to study Ayurveda and then you get to a certain point in your in your course and you're just like whoa (laughs) all right (laughs) but I mean it is it's it's an amazing wealth of knowledge and you know challenging at times but worth it um to to kind of learn everything that we learn in this course and uh and the the practice the clinical practice and um all of that the opportunity that you have to connect with other students but also with uh with your your future clients you know while you're still in the course um, and build your build your clinic or build your business or all of that good stuff absolutely and for me like i I wasn't like the shining star student in in school you know I I was never like super engaged but there was just something that just pulled me into this course and absolutely like you said like it's so hands-on it's so practical every week you're doing something where you need to assess your own body or assess your assess your own experience and you're constantly learning um it really is incredible and it's a testament to what to what you can do in two years if you if you want to do it yeah yeah well and you know you certainly were like a shining star student in this course so it's interesting to me to hear that that has not been your experience in the past but um but yeah I mean you did a great job in the course and also with like like you said wearing so many hats yeah it's I mean um it's interesting because it is such a rigorous course like and I I never want to downplay that like it is not it's not a breeze of a course for sure because Ayurveda is a medical science and that's that's what you're learning and I think to give a student an idea that it's anything else will be almost unfair because it's you're getting like the starting point of this whole world of information. Um, right. For me, the big thing that I had to employ in myself, especially having been out of formal education for some time, was it was discipline. It wasn't so much the work, it was the discipline to be like, okay, this is what we're doing and this is when we're doing it. Um, yeah. And that was, it was amazing. And especially to be able to look back and go, you know what? I did it and we did it. Every other person in the course has jobs, has kids, has other things going on, but it's a beautiful thing to be able to look back and say, you know, you can do hard things. Yeah. And not to mention this year has been pretty special because you guys like did it through a pandemic also. (laughs) So (laughs) kudos to your whole class on that. Um, and sticking with it. Um, and so you spoke about the about the the discipline. Would you say that's you know one of the greatest challenges that you had to overcome during the course? I think so. I think for me, I mean, some of the material is for sure challenging. I mean, you're learning different terminology and you're learning different concepts, and really you're learning to look at the body and it just through a different lens. You know, you're getting a different perspective. But the real challenge was the the mental game. It was showing up every week, getting the assignments done, 
working around work, working like in with work. Um, and I think it's just a muscle I hadn't flexed in some time. You know, I had gotten quite accustomed to going to work and coming home and having that time free. Um, but it was the active fulfilling of a commitment. That was a brilliant lesson for me. I'm really thankful for it. Um, and I think looking back, if you had told me you're gonna spend up on 800 hours over the next two years, aside from work, in a pandemic doing this stuff, I would have laughed at you and said, there's no way that, but here we are and we got it done. Yeah, yay, congratulations <laughs> again. <laughs> um, so you've, you've actually shared quite a bit through this conversation about what it was like, you know, what life was like as a student in the program and working, you know, a couple different jobs and, you know, all of these different things. Um, is there anything else that you would like to add kind of about that, you know, thinking in terms of anything that you could give a per prospective student as far as advice on um, making it work with your life? Just general. Yeah. I think for me, especially because I'm kind of, you know, I'm on another continent, there is the time difference and things like that. I think the number one thing that has helped me has been to show up to the live classes I can and engage with other students as much as I can. Um, because working online, particularly if you're far away from where it's all happening, can feel a little, a little alone at times, particularly when the work gets difficult or the work gets challenging or the work builds up a little bit. Um, or like I said, I came in late to the course. So I think having that little support structure, you know, those little relationships that you can reach out and go, oh my goodness, like, what are you doing for this? Or, you know, can you support me in this and I'll support you in something else is incredibly important. Um, and I will say, I found the teachers in particular just really compassionate on that level as well. Um, but for me, making it work with, a full-time job, a pandemic, and then like a little part-time job as well. It's just dividing your time. It's just getting that schedule, get like, I use my calendar on my phone and I put it in the, the time slots. And then I become, you know, I, I work by that calendar. And if it's on the calendar, it's getting done at that time. And it's just, it's not arguing with it. It's like, okay, now it's time to study. Okay, we're gonna study. <laughs> you know, right. um, try not to resist it, and, you know, so again, with the discipline that you've spoken about already, and just being, being organized, those are like two really important aspects. Mm -hmm. I think so, and as someone who's worked in student support, you know, the, the thing that we see most often isn't that students aren't able for the work, like that is never the case, or like almost never the case, it's I've gotten behind or I've not turned in these assignments. You know, it's, it's keeping up with that time management. Um, and it is a commitment. The course is a commitment, but the value of what you're gonna learn in two years is incredible. As far as I've seen, there are, there's not much else out there that's quite like this course. Right, great. Um, any extra thoughts on how the course has changed you? Oh my goodness, so many. I feel like, and I, I think anybody who thinks back to maybe two years ago um, might say why the last, you know, I'm a different person, but we had a pandemic in there too. So there's, you know, there was more room for growth in there. Um, for me, the course really sharpened my critical thinking. Um, because so much of what we learn is, you know, we have to give our direct experience. We need to try these things and we need to feed back on that. Um, and we're prompted to, to critique, you know, what we're being told. And I think it's something, you know, we weren't taught in school. Like if you were fortunate to go to third level university, maybe it comes up then, but just to, to experience things before forming an opinion, 
and to always be open to, you know, to try new things and to listen to other people who have firsthand experience. I think critical thinking was a big one for me, for sure. This is not a course where you just read the material and give the answer. You need to, yes. you need to engage with it. Yeah, there's often, there's, you know, there's a lot of contemplation and like you said, critical thinking, analytical thinking, all of those things. It's not just like, you know, here's the presentation, take the quiz and you just find all of the answers in the presentation and, you know, having that experiential piece as well, um, where, you know, especially with things like food and herb experiments and that kind of stuff where you're like literally experiencing this stuff in your body and telling us, right? It's not us teaching you, you're teaching us like how it worked for you. Um, and that's one of the other beautiful things about Ayurveda. Is that it is yeah. Um, and as you just said, like then we got to see in our tutorials and in our review classes, wait, this was my experience, but that person had a totally different experience. And that's Ayurveda. You know, that, that's what we're trying to be taught. Um, and that's it in living motion. Absolutely. Well, um, at this point, you know, you're you're graduating, you're starting your clinical practice, you've started your clinical practice. Um, how do you envision sharing all that you've learned? Yeah, so my, I'm always going back to the thing that brought me in. It's this accessibility, it's this practicality. So anytime that I'm making an offering, I'm doing a workshop, I'm meeting a client, that's where I come back to. Um, so for me, I envision doing a mixture of workshops and one-on-one -on -one consultations. I intend to have two days every month where I do consultations by donation so that people who can't afford to come to an Ayurvedic therapist to get all this really accessible information can do so if they want. And, and I'm lucky enough to have a community around me that you know, they're accustomed to feeding in to each other. So it's really lovely to kind of bring the community in, you know, the people who are paying the full price are paying for this other person who they'll never know and maybe never meet. And they're, yes. everyone's getting access. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to, to embark. That sounds amazing. I love it. Um, so I guess, you know, overall, would you recommend this course and why or why not? I would recommend this course. Absolutely. There, and as I said earlier, there, I haven't seen anything like it. Um, as I look around for further education and things, there's nothing coming up that tops it. Um, and I know that there is changes being made to make it even better in the coming years. Um, I would say, as I recommend it, to be prepared to engage. If you're a potential student, be prepared to engage with the information, be prepared to be challenged, um, but also like be prepared to welcome a, um, an ocean of new information. Like it re And I said this earlier, it's a testament to what you can do with two years. Yes. Great. Um, any parting words of wisdom that you would like to offer? For potential students or new students to the program who might be hearing this, um, live what you're learning, I think is probably the best way to actually learn it. Like as you're learning about the doshas and all these things that you may have heard of and you may have a theoretical understanding of, like take a day. Or one of our teachers always says, you know, when you're doing a herb experiment, take the herb and then read about it while you can still taste it and feel it and understand what's going on. Because Ayurveda isn't, you know, Ayurveda is an embodied practice. You know, it's, you can feel it, you can see it happening. So yeah. that would be my best advice. Great, that is great advice. Um, and last question for you, what would you say was the greatest benefit of the program in your experience? The greatest 
benefit of the program was the practical element of it. Um, we spent the first year heads down learning the concepts and learning the theory and, and getting to, to grips with all of that. But in the second year, like we got to embark on all these consultations with our student or with fellow students before we even went and did 25 consults with people in our community. And that's before we even graduate. You know, this is practical assignments. And it's only when you, you start to tie everything together and you start to actually meet with people and hear their story that it all comes to life. And of course, at the beginning, you think, oh, I'm never going to be able to do this. This is terrifying. This is hard. And it is for the first couple of times. It's terrifying and it's hard. Yeah. But you get so much practice on it that by the time you come to the end, you're like, I can do that. Yeah, for sure. So you get this confidence before yeah. you even walk out the door. And it's just like having a conversation with someone, right? Um, so to add to that, you know, talking about how you got so much experience with the practical side of things in year two, um, we've made several kind of improvements to the course. And at this point, this coming year, uh, we start doing assessment and things like that on ourselves and with buddies in the first few weeks and build off of that. So, you know, when we learn about the gunas, we're going to start having little buddy pair up consultations where you spend 10 minutes assessing each guna in, you know, in your partner or whatever, or one at a time. Um, and then this past year, year one, did their um, first buddy consultations on certain systems of the body, like one srotas at a time. Um, in year one so by the time they are going to get to their buddy consultations in year two they've already got like all this experience assessing another human uh, so they're starting even earlier this time so even more experience which um, is, is going to be I, I keep telling them like they're it's still new to them but like it's very exciting to me because I know like they're going to feel so much more prepared when they get to that point of doing the full consultations so so absolutely and it's that um you know you're learning the theory and then you're seeing it in practice and that just helps the mind remember it you know that's amazing yes absolutely great um anything else to add nothing at the minute i think if this is something that anyone is thinking of exploring get in touch get in touch and find out about it um I think this is an incredibly in-depth course. I think you, you gain so much from this course. It really like sets you up. As someone who, you know, I didn't know almost anything about Ayurveda before I got into it. I had heard about it and I had, you know, done my own research, but this sets you up. You can take a confident step forward in whatever direction you wanna go after mm -hmm. you do this course. And I think that's pretty incredible. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, John's been working hard to get this new graduate clinic program set up too, so that, you know, you're basically building your clinic before you graduate. And then once you graduate, you just continue on and, and Joyful Belly's got a lot of tools and um, resources that you can use. Uh, and that being said, we're also, you know, working to develop some, some further education. Um, beyond AHC at this point too, which is really exciting. So um, hopefully you'll join us for that. And um, I really appreciate you talking with me today and thank you so much for your time and congratulations once again. It's probably the fifth time I've said that. I'm just really excited for you um, for, <laughs> for getting to the end of the course. And, um, and yeah, thank you so much. And thanks everybody for tuning in. Thank you.